Video games. Almost all of us have played them. But have you ever felt like you aren't completely immersed in the game? I have. And it left me wondering what could be done to solve this. Well, thanks to engineers, a new technology has come up called virtual reality or VR to allow you to be transported into the game or world itself. My name is Sarvesh Agarwal, and today I'm going to be talking about how VR can be implemented into healthcare to benefit the industry. Virtual reality is basically using computer technology to create a simulated environment. In normal 2D games, you're outside the game. With VR, you're placed inside the game and are able to interact with 3D worlds by stimulating our five senses. It essentially functions as a gatekeeper, cracking open the door for you to enter artificial worlds limited only by your imagination. So how do we fully open this figurative door? Well, our senses allow us to make sense of the world around us. If VR is able to take more of our senses and integrate them into the virtual environment, it'll add a sense of realism. And the more realistic it feels, the more we feel like we're a part of it, and the more we lose track of where we actually are. Let's understand the science behind this. Our brain first carries an input from the sensory organs, such as the eyes, ears, and skin, to make sense of our environment. What happens next is that our brain actually processes this information, allowing one to further comprehend one's surroundings. It is this processing of information that VR can influence, allowing one to escape into a new reality. Now that we have a grasp as to how VR works, we can dive into how it can be used to help the world around us, specifically in healthcare. One of the most challenging aspects of healthcare is managing patients, and VR can be used to help said patients take a break or a recess, if you will, from the painful reality they're living in to escape into a new and more comfortable one. Recent research suggests that VR can safely and effectively reduce severe pain in hospitalized patients. This is done both psychologically in cases such as PTSD and by actually manipulating the pain receptors in the brain. In a recent pilot study, patients undergoing surgery at St. George's Hospital had the option to use a VR headset prior to and during their operation. Every single one of those participants reported that their overall hospital experience was improved by wearing the headset, while a whopping 94% said that they felt more relaxed. Moreover, 80% said that they felt less pain after wearing the headset, highlighting the extent to which VR can help with caring for patients. These statistics show that the majority of patients benefited from VR by making their hospital stay more enjoyable and by reducing the pain they felt during and even after their procedures. Furthermore, other than hospital settings, VR can also be used for therapeutic applications in the medical world. Vijay Ravindran, founder of Florio, created a platform to teach communication and social skills to people with autism. Traditional therapy is delivered in an office or in the home in a pretty constrained environment, Ravindran explains. In virtual reality, we can create environments to suit the situation. Amidst the current COVID-19 pandemic, the merits of implementing VR technology have only become more apparent. Some healthcare providers are searching for ways to implement VR technology to communicate with patients and encourage more personalized treatment, especially given the recent aversion to physical contact. Dr. Samuel Broud, professor of neurological surgery at the University of Washington and co-founder of Proprio, a surgical navigation technology company, 
says that the systems were limited to niche applications, such as patient education before surgery, until recently. But he notes that they're growing exponentially as clinical teams adapt to the realities of COVID-19. This technology can be used to help patients break free from the isolation they're facing to interact with family and friends. This patient, this technology can also be used to help patients simulate environments where they interact with their loved ones. This aids with their overall psychological health and makes for a faster and smoother recovery, says Giuseppe Riva, study author and professor of general psychology. In a recently published Italian paper, researchers look at the ways interactive VR videos of a virtual garden can resolve the various psychological effects of quarantining at home, such as tension and isolation. They postulate that using VR can teach you how to be more conscious and provide a secure and relaxed setting to reflect and be alone. In the morning, during the day, and every other time you feel nervous during the day, such as before bed, they recommend spending time in a relaxing VR setting. Think of virtual garden or a beach. Riva says, we describe who we are in the memory of individuals and incidents that have happened in the various places we visit. But we can no longer go to the places that define our everyday life and make sense of our identity during the quarantine. Even our homes may feel unrecognizable or out of control. VR provides a secure and calm digital place where you can reflect on your situation, issues, and opportunities. Dr. Albert Rizzo, the director of medical VR at the USC Institute for Innovative Technologies, says that interactive VR simulations, including those using a VR headset, may be emotionally evocative. He claims, right now, heading to and using virtual reality can help you develop relaxation strategies to cope with COVID-19 anxiety and allow a bit of escapism. In the meantime, healthcare providers may search for and consider launching VR programs for self-guided rehabilitation exercises and treating chronic pain as patients remain in isolation. Says Adrian Lowe, a co-founder of the International Spine and Pain Institute. Virtual care, or at least hybrid models of in-person and virtual, will likely be a commonplace going forward, Lowe says. Forward-thinking systems should consider having a fleet of VR headsets at their disposal for a variety of applications. All things considered, virtual reality is evidently a concept worth exploring. From helping patients alleviate pain to allowing them to connect with others virtually, this technology allows for patients to feel more comfortable and more relaxed. Furthermore, the use of virtual reality has exponentially advanced in other fields. So why can't we do the same in healthcare? In the coming years, when this technology advances even further, the possibilities and the lives that could be saved are endless. And while other sectors may benefit from VR, I believe implementing it in healthcare could be one of the most successful and significant uses of VR in the coming future. Thank you.